it's uh, the most historically significant building on the site and obviously it has a famous onion dome on top, uh, a legacy of Sam Colt's. One of the major theories from the 19th century, early 20th century was that it was actually imported from Russia by Colt when he returned from the uh, coronation of the Tsar. I'm pretty sure it was part of the actual, the original architectural design for the building. Sam Colt was quite good at marketing and he uh, really liked the, the Russian dome. He, he liked the shape of it, he liked the way it looked. So he just decided to put it on top of his factory, which obviously, you know, still the dome to this day is an icon. And even my kids see the dome and look at it and say, wow, you know, so, uh, so everybody that came by, came by the city, would look at that dome and say, what's there? You know, what's happening there? And people still do to this day. At the time of the fire in 1864, I believe he employed about a thousand workmen. It caused a, a huge hole in the economy. Given the fact that it happened in 1864 and that Colt was the biggest private contractor for Union firearms, there was talk about Confederate incendiaries and arsonists coming into town and causing the fire, but no, nothing, nothing was ever proven. There's, there's no, no evidence to support that theory. But Sam Colt uh, built a legacy here, and he really was one of the fathers of mass production and Henry Ford apprenticed here, uh, Pratt & Whitney apprenticed here, so it has a rich history in the Industrial Revolution. The history is all still here. Uh, it obviously needs to be renovated and you know, restored, but it's here.